wow, this day is finally here. Roy Safe Haven, it happened. Okay, so let's get everything together. Oh, I'm so happy. What do you want me to do? Well, first, I want you to sit and greet everyone that comes in and be the handsome that you are. Okay, so you just sit over there. Uh -huh. And you know, you put the chair and let's get some important things. Yeah. This is Finally, a reality, and we're going to have some fun, right? Yes, ma'am. Wow. Okay, okay. The day is finally here. I'm excited. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and sit and wait for our clients, okay? Wow, uh, this is exciting. Yeah. We have everything here? Okay. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, I guess they'll understand. No, no, no. This is how we're just getting started. And I mean, we have a, you know, it's very small, it's the, the, the Miss Brown, she's okay. coming. All right. Um, the, the Smiths. The Smiths, yeah. okay. The Smiths, all right. And, um, 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 Miss, Miss, Miss Johnson. Miss Johnson. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, good. I've always wanted to really get, you know, close and personal with her. Yes. So that's really going to help us. Mm -hmm. Wow. I have all the files in the office. It's really, you know, for me, I have all of our patients today and can't wait for them. And we can start with this session. Yeah, I'm excited about you it. Know, new so, place, new energy. That's right, that's right. And most of all, we will help some people who have been experiencing domestic violence. Yes. I mean, that's just something that, wow. We know it's, it's near and dear it's, to your it's, heart. It's, it's very near and dear. But we're going to be able to get that over with Absolutely. and help some people. So, nice calming colors. Yes, and we're just waiting for our clients to come. They'll so, be here. They need help just like we need help. Well, that's true. That's true. That's true. You know, it's... You know, it's something that's touched all of us. It's right. Touched me in my life, touched you in your life. And, right. and in surprising ways. It has to... Well, it just has to get better. It will be better. And we'll be, we're the ones to do it. And we're going do to it. do it. Boy, yes. Haven. Wow. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. Um, welcome to Roy Safe Haven. Would you like something to drink? Oh, no, no, I'm good. Thank you. Oh, Miss Brown, how are you? Come in. We're so happy to see you. Just come and have a seat. And this is Trey. I like your place. Thank you. We finally happened. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, one year. One year, my. And you're just doing great now. I see my smile. I see your smile, yeah, so. We're waiting for our other clients to come, and then we'll get started after that. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, been a year. It's been a while. Wow. wow. And how are the children? They're doing excellent. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. It's good to know that we're making a difference. Yes. Yes. Progress. Progress. Hello. Welcome to Roy Safe Haven. Would you like something to drink? Oh, no, no. I'm good. Thank you. 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 Hello, Miss Johnson, how are you? Are you doing okay today? We're so glad that you came. I'd like for you to meet a couple of people. This is Miss Brown. This is Kayla. And this is Trey. Oh, just have a seat. We're waiting for the others. And how are you today? Was that a long ride? Oh, yes. I didn't know your office was that far. Well, it is, but it's here. It's worth it. Yeah. Like, look at this place. We have the space exactly. wide open. We have so many facilities here that, you know, are here to help everyone. Yeah, it's Once they got child care. Why are you so nervous? What's wrong with your hair? Nothing. Well, fix it. I did fix oh, it. No. It's not... Oh, it's... I fixed it. All right. Now, as soon as we get into the house, if you tell your family, I'm your not friends, say or anybody, anything. just shut up. Like I said, if you tell anybody, your friends, or anybody, things are gonna get a whole lot worse. I'm not gonna say anything, okay? I thought so. Let's go. Okay. Hello, welcome to Boy Safety. Would you like something to drink? No, I'm good. 
the oh, one thing. Hi, Showing my favorite couple. Hello, dears. How are you? Good. Oh, come Good. on in, son. Good. Sit right here. Come on, darling. All right. All right. Well, I think we're ready. Of course, I think you all should know. Well, no, you don't. This is Miss Carmen Brown. And this is Kayla. And this is, of course, you know Trey. So and this is Mrs. Johnson. Mm -hmm. And these are the Smiths, rather known as my son. Oh, and of course, my favorite daughter-in-law, my only daughter-in-law. Okay, so let's get our session started, shall we? First, let me say welcome to Roy's Safe Haven. It's been a long time coming, but we're all here together now, and I just thought maybe we could informally just share, you know, and catch up on things, okay? Okay, now, who would like to go first? Anybody? Okay, I'll go first. Uh, my name is Carmen Brown. Hi, Carmen. Hi. And I am a victim of domestic violence. Uh, I've been with you about a year now. And I, I, I know that I'm delivered, I'm free, I'm much better, I'm healed, and I'm so happy, I'm excited. I just feel great about myself, I'm feeling better. But when I think about everything that man done to me, rage, rage come from the inside, I hate him for what he did to me. But I know that you said that uh, if I just breathe and calm down, I'll be okay. I feel good. I, I feel like I'm in a new space, a new place, and every time I see his picture on social media, I go crazy because he called me every B word there was. Big girl, big mouth, oh, big foot. He messed me up. Okay, but I know you said calm down and relax, and I feel good about myself now, and I know I'm no longer, he, he doesn't have me captive anymore and I just wanted to say thank you thank you for all your help but sometimes I go crazy in my mind I'm still it's okay it's okay okay I got so it's okay he mentally abused me and my mind is so messed up but I know you say just calm down stay calm okay thank you for all your help stay calm breathe breathe We truly understand how you feel. We've been there. Just know that it's a part of your past. Okay, thank you. You can't see forward looking in a rearview mirror, remember? <laughs> but the hate, the hate will go away. It's not a part of your plan. It's not a part of your future. Remember, what did we say? I know you said relax and breathe. Relax. Thank you. And always know that God is there for you. Thank you. That's a part of your past. Okay. Okay? Thank you. Now, Kayla. My name is Kayla Westheimer, and I am a victim of domestic violence. Even though we're rich, my mom and my mom and dad don't understand how they hurt me. I don't want to get that like Remember what we said. You can't move forward doing what? Looking through the rear view mirror, right? right? So, life is going to be fine because we know who? God. That's right. Wow. We go through a lot, don't we? Mm -hmm. Trey, what about you? Would you like to share? I know you wasn't, you wasn't expecting it, but Share with us. Um, 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 well, you know, this this past year working with you, it, it's it's been enlightening. I, I've seen many of my own relationships in a, in a whole new light, and it's. I mean, it wasn't until I got involved with the work we we do here that it forces me to look at myself and my situations and you know it's hard to, to really even put in the words because 
when we have our sessions and you have your bits of anger from 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 hurt i understand that because hurt hurt is pain and it's okay it's not your fault and as i been there for all of you and telling you these things i'm in a similar situation and i have to tell myself these things and, it, and it's weird because men don't Men don't get in, a, men don't get abused. Men don't get beat up. Men don't get hurt. See, I was raised, you don't hit girls. You just don't. So when my girl hit me, I'm like, I shut it off. I mean, it didn't hurt, but she hit me again. And Every time she would get angry, she would hit me. It wasn't until we got into an argument, she slammed my head against the door. And I'm thinking, she hits me a lot. And I go and I look in my rearview mirror and I look at my past, I look at what we've come and it's not really that far. I look back and I, she's always hitting me. As men, we protect. It's ingrained in our very being that we protect and we provide and we console. She doesn't allow me to do that. She hurts me. So, in helping you, I've, I've helped myself. Fortunately, I've, I've, I can see, I can recognize the abuse. I was in denial in it for a long time. I went through all the steps because who, I mean, who wants to admit they get beat up by, by that chick, right? So, yeah, I'm gonna be fine because I'm no longer in that relationship. But sometimes you just have to take a look in the mirror, have a conversation with self, a real conversation with self. That's why I'm so committed to the work we do here. Because I know I'm not the only one. Whether I'm on the receiving end or if someone is on the giving end. Hurt is hurt. If you get hurt, whether you're hurting someone, it only spreads. It gets worse like a cancer. Thank you for sharing, Trey. I know that's difficult. Not the easiest thing in the world. No, it's not. But you all have to always remember we're always just a phone call away. You don't have to really suffer alone. You're never alone because you know that, first of all, God is always with you. So being afraid can be an option sometimes, but no one likes to be hurt. Okay? But we're always here for you at Roy's house, okay? Everybody understands that, right? Thank you. Okay? Now, Mrs. Johnson, would you like to share? Yes, I would. Okay. My name is Kimberly Johnson. And I'm a victim of domestic abuse. And it's so ironic, I'm actually a worker a caseworker where I help these women on a daily basis and I had to take a step back and look in the mirror. You're a victim yourself. Oh, I met this wonderful guy. Went to college together and I had a hiccup in my financial aid and um, he came to the rescue. He paid my tuition in full. Oh my God, this guy was wonderful. You talk about a guy that, that made you feel protected. I always decided a God-fearing man. You showed that until one day he turned into this monster. He began using drugs. And it's just the inner wounds that I would have to hide on a daily basis. 
call me names. Slap me around a few times. And here I would have to get up, look in that mirror and get myself together. Because I couldn't let nobody know what I was going through. Because I'm here to help. I'm still dealing with it. Um, matter of fact, he doesn't even know I'm here. It would really be a problem. But I'm working through it. I'm still with the state. But I will get through it. I'm going to keep coming to the sessions and God is going to make a way. Look, we just want you to know we're always here for you. We're all a family here. And if you need to share with us, no matter what time it is, we're always here. And of course, you remember that domestic violence hotline number I gave you too, right? Yes. Right. You all remember that, yes. right? Yes. Look, you've come so far away from it. If you ever have to face it again, you do remember we're all here for each other, right? Yes. Good, good. So how are you feeling now? Are you still there? Do you leave? It's or? a sense of relief. Like I said, I'm still in the relationship, so. So is there it's a fear? Tough. Well, of course. <laughs> to leave, I mean. Have you thought about it? I mean, remember I, we talked about it. On numerous occasions, I have. Okay. It's just actually, I'm so numb right now. I don't know whether I go to the left or the right. Did you take a part of the step plan that we designed for you? Remember we made out the steps for you to actually be able to move out of the relationship. I am, but I'm probably on step nine. <laughs> it's probably because she likes the money, Miss Angie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no shade. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Well, we know that that's another form right. of abuse, which yeah. is usually what? Financial. Right. You know? yeah, it's definitely, and I'm constantly reminded of what he's done, well, what he's doing. And uh, once I get it together, I'm out, Miss Angie. Do you think God can help you get it together? I know he does. That's why I continue to pray. And that was our first step, right? Yes. Trusting God. Yes. Okay. You call me and we'll talk about those steps again, all right? Thank you. Okay, Thank good. You. Now, we have a very special guest in the house I wasn't expecting. Son, how are you? We're glad you can make it. Oh, and my wonderful daughter-in-law. How are you? I'm good, I guess. You guess? Yeah. Well, I'm also a victim of domestic violence. You probably couldn't tell, but I don't know. Some of you think I know some of y'all feel hurt, but me, I feel good, so. Son, I mean, we're all family here, and I'm sorry, I can't. You are joking with us, right? I'm not joking. You don't even know what happened when Dad walked out on us. Oh, is that right? Oh, you don't remember? When I was eight years old, beating on you? No, 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 let me finish. Snapping you? And I was just in my room, just in tears, wondering what's going on. Hmm. And then my first date in my, my senior year, I mean, like, prom, I mean, like, she, wouldn't even go to prom, I mean, like, because I had to go by myself. And she refused not to go. She was like, one of the most popular girls, you know, everybody would just laugh. Ha uh ha. -huh. Did I do anything about it? No. I just let it go. Hmm. Just, just let, just let everything flow. I don't like getting played. I just say getting hurt. So what do I do to embrace that? I take my anger out on somebody. I'm sorry. I'm laughing because of the simple fact. That's what my boyfriend said, too. He was abused by his father. And his father was abused by his father. It's just a cover-up. I'm sorry, Miss Ann. I'm sorry. Just everything comes. Well, it's okay. It's okay. You're right, son. I mean, of course, this is why Roy's house is here. Because I was a victim of domestic violence. I was abused financially, physically, mentally. I had my share of it, but I knew one person, if I didn't know anyone else, that could help me get out of my situation first, and that was God. Then from going to God, I knew I had to seek out professional help. 
And just like you guys are here with me, I've been in this room before myself. And I've had to share and be realistic about my problem. I had to go through the steps of trying to get away. That was a hard thing to do. I mean, when you're a doctor and everyone knows you and you're loved in your community and you're out helping everyone, who expects you to be a victim? Who? No one. I mean, son, I'm sorry and you were eight, but that's why I left. Because I did not want you to be a product of what your father was. Never wanted you to hate your father, just love him. Because sometimes I knew I really wasn't fighting him as much as I was fighting that demon spirit in him. And I prayed for him, but reality showed me that it was really time to save my family. And I figured if he really loved me, and if he really loved his family, I always thought he would change. But the change never came. So that's why I had to leave and get help. And that's why we have Roy's house now. Because there are a lot of people out here who are suffering in silence. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to tell their family. They don't want to tell their friends. But it's something that you must do to move forward in your life. And I think we've all, we've all that, right? I have a question, Ms. Yes. Mr. Smith, you, like, this is news to me because in the time I've seen you, I, I didn't know you, you went through this. How have you moved forward? Who have you spoken to? Pretty much, I mean, I mean, when I, when I met her, I mean, she was one of the charm, you know, but things were pretty okay with me so far, you know, but things, things ain't got to me, you know. She, I thought she had a significant other on me. I thought she was like cheating on me, you know. I mean, like, I always. You know I, never do that. I know, but it's like every time, you know, some, you know, I come to your job, you know, bring you lunch, or bring you invitations or something like that, you know, I see some other guy, or I don't know if he's a mystery guy trying to talk to you. But the, <laughs> whole, the whole part of the illness that comes with it is what you think you see, mm -hmm. it's an illusion and it clouds your mind of the love and the real relationship. So that happens because you never, maybe you just never saw what real love was about. So how did you come out of that anger? How did you deal with it? I don't know, it was like one night or something like this, she told me she had to go to her male friend's birthday party. So I figured it was the same guy, but you know, well, I didn't, I didn't know about this to my, um, to my homeboy told me about it. I don't know if he, I don't know what he see, but he told me what he saw. So, what he thinks, like it was just him and her, you know, after everybody left, you know, he, he thought and like I told you, I was just helping clean up. But see, once again, that's the part of it. There's always the illusion of something going on when nothing's really going on. I'm because sorry, Miss Ann, I know we all share, okay. but I think, Something is wrong with this picture. Something is not right. Do you get hurt? No, 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 no. 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 Son, no. do you hit no. her? No. no. She's protecting him. Right. No, no. Sam, that's why we all here. I mean, I can see that something is not right. No, no. I, I, I promise you. Everything is great. That's what I used to say. Everything is great. Everything is fine. That's what I used to hear. Cover up. Everything is good. See, I'm sure. see, for we're you. just. I'm sorry, Miss Anne. We're here so because it's her opening. That's why we're here. Well, it's an opening, of course. And now we have the grand opening of what's really going on with you guys, but that's okay. We're all here. Everything is fine. As we're all everything is fine. here to help each other. That's my nice. Miss Hairstyle. Uh, hairstyle. Mm -hmm. Don't you like to like it like this? Isn't it pretty?
gonna talk when we get to No! Hold on! Son! Mom, this is not, this is not your son. concern. This is not your concern. It's between me and her. Uh, hitting! Is that how you do with your ring? We will continue our session as we always do next week on Wednesday, same time, 6 p.m. Does anyone have a problem with that? And we will all be here, right? We will all be here, right? Well, this has been an awakening. I'm glad you all came to Roy's house. And we're going to be okay, right? We're all going to be okay. We're all going to be fine. And why are we going to be fine? Because we know who? That's right. Let's join me in this party. I think we need that. Dear Heavenly Father, first we want to thank you for giving us this opportunity to come together as one. But most of all, as a family, a family of believers who trust and believe in you, who believe and trust in you enough to know that we'll be just fine. First, we want to say thank you. Thank you for giving us the opportunity for second chances. Thank you for delivering us from circumstances that we had no control over, but we knew you were in control. And you've delivered us from the very things that we thought may have been about happiness, but you showed us that Happiness doesn't have to hurt, and that life can prevail without pain. Dear Father in heaven, look upon each one of us today. Life hasn't been the best, but it's been life. And you still showed us your grace, to show us your mercy, to show us the way to be free from domestic violence and the abuses. Dear Father in heaven, we still need you. We still have our fears and we still have our angers and we still have our remorses and we know it's just a matter of time and you're healing. We're not perfect. We know only you are. But we do know that you do have a better place and a better time for us. And that's in our very own healing. For those who are silent in their storm, for those who may not know the way to go, for those who don't know where to go or who to turn to, we pray that they find guidance and comfort in you. But we also pray that they find help. There are places they can go, places they can call, and people, people whom they can speak to. I'm glad that you chose me to be a part of this. I can see in the strength of everyone here that you will use them too, to be a testimony to others who may not know and who may not understand but they do know with hope there is an answer. With prayer there is a cure and they're never ever alone. We ask for your mercy and your grace continuously and of course this we ask in your name. Amen. 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 <sighs> Thank you. That's a relief. Thank mm. Everybody breathe. <sighs> <sighs> the number one fact is most domestic violence is never reported. Speak up. Speak out. Speak, speak up. up. Speak, speak out. out.
So very 